What's up guys, Dodzy here, and I am going to go through another install tutorial for Pokemobs 1.0.0, well, for Minecraft 1.0.0, it's the .5 pre-release or whatever of Pokemobs. So, here is the uh, Pokemobs page. Um, I've got, this is Risigami's mod, so this is where you would get Mod Loader and Audio Mod, which I'm going to download right now. Uh, I will open it with WinRAR. I'm going to do two different ways. I'm going to do one way, the basic way to install it, and then I'm going to show you guys another way for if you're having issues uh, and you uh, you can't get it to work even if you follow this first way or you have followed tutorials before, I will show you probably what's wrong and a way to almost guarantee you that you can get the mod installed. Uh, I'm also going to install, uh, oh here, I need to get Mod Loader MP. Don't forget about that. You guys need to have Mod Loader and Audio Mod, which is, you can click on this link here to go get those. And you also need Mod Loader MP, which you can click on this link right here, and you can go get that. So this is Mod Loader MP. Uh, you're gonna install the client version. Um, and I'll just download it from Adfly. They don't have a direct download for this one. So you gotta wait your five seconds, but big deal, right? Uh, it gives the guy a little bit of money for uh, his efforts. And download Mod Loader MP, also opening with WinRAR. Um, all right, I'm gonna go and get too many items just because it's a quick way to show you that the mod is working correctly. Uh, download for 1.0.0, another Adfly. So use WinRAR, wow. and now I need to download the actual Pokemobs mod. Where's that? Download, open it with WinRAR. Okay, so I'm done with that. Uh, let me organize this a little bit. I got Mod Loader. Which I'm going to install first. Audio mod will go after that. So I'll put in mod loader MP. Then I will put in too many items. And finally, Pokemobs pre.5. Alright. Um, so to do this, first of all, just, just to be safe, go to options, force update, and then log into Minecraft. This will re download a fresh jar that doesn't have any mod stuff in your jar uh, so do that and then go ahead and close minecraft go to your dot minecraft folder which I made a shortcut in my folder here uh, if you don't have a shortcut up here you can type in percent app data percent that'll take you to your roaming and then you'll have dot minecraft right there so open dot minecraft double click on bin and then right here your minecraft executable jar if you have like a point one or 1.0.01 1 1, don't worry about that one just do the one that just says straight minecraft right click and open it with winrar uh, I'm gonna put that right there and then with your with this window the one that you opened your minecraft jar with just go back up a step to where you're at bin, resources, save, stats, texture packs, last login, and options. And uh, put that one like right here or something. This is a good way to organize it, okay? So, first of all, mod loader. Select everything, and you're going to drop this. Or here, first of all, meta inf, you should know by now, delete that. That's in your Win Minecraft jar. Delete meta inf. All right, now for mod loader, select everything and put it in your jar. You can close that. Audio mod, select everything and put that in your jar and close it. Mod loader MP, select everything and put that in your jar. Close it. Uh, I'll just stick too many items, all that. If you're installing too many items, you should know. Just put that all in your jar. And then Pokemobs, you got everything here goes in your jar and this is your resource folder. Open the everything and this goes in your jar select it all and put that in your jar like it says then go back up a step you can close your jar now and
and that's why I had you leave this window open the resources folder you're gonna put this mod folder inside your resources folder here okay close that close that and go ahead and start Minecraft log in single player create new world let me I'm gonna name it for the heck of demonstration purposes later blah blah building terrain blah 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 and there you go okay I got too many items healing table PC uh, we're apricorns pokeballs it's all working uh, let's see if I can find there's an apricorn tree right there so you can see that uh, the mod is working I can punch stuff it won't crash um, some people have that issue so there you go now I'm gonna go through you only really do one other thing differently than what I just did if you're having issues if this didn't work for you uh, if you followed other tutorials and they didn't work for you you probably have other mods installed that you don't even either you don't remember or you might have a corrupted jar file there might just be something wrong and the best way to make sure that you have a fresh jar is to do what I'm going to show you next so I'm going to quit to title and close this and this is what you got to do if nothing else has worked do this go to your dot minecraft folder which is percent app data roaming you should make a shortcut for it just because it's nice because to make a shortcut you can just right click on the folder and hit create shortcut but anyway go into your dot minecraft or actually you can go into your dot minecraft but you actually want to be in your roaming folder okay just click on dot minecraft oh, before you do this if you have worlds uh, that you want to keep or something you probably don't because you need to start a new world for pokemobs anyway for stuff to spawn in uh, but if you want to keep another world for whatever reason if you go into your saves folder you can like move this somewhere copy it and put it wherever and if you want to keep any texture packs and you don't have them saved anywhere else you can also any texture packs you have you can grab and put somewhere um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on dot minecraft and just delete that entire folder okay so you're not even gonna have a dot minecraft anymore close that and then just run minecraft you're not gonna have your login info because that's stored in uh, dot minecraft so you're just gonna have to re-enter whatever it is you use to get in um, and then log in There we go. I had the wrong password typed in. This is going to re-download everything. Um, what this will help is if you have mods, just by uh, updating your jar, that doesn't get rid of mod stuff that's in like your resources folder and in your mods folder that are created in your .minecraft folder. So you might have to just like delete your .minecraft folder and start over because this mod is conflicting with other mods. So you kind of have to decide do you want to use Pokemobs? Because there are mods, there are other mods you won't get to use um, if you're using Pokemobs. So if you really want Pokemobs, go ahead and delete your dot Minecraft folder, then just start Minecraft back up, and it'll make you a new one, completely fresh. Um, and then you're gonna go back, do the same thing, you know, go back and download your mod loader and audio mod, uh, download mod loader MP and then download Pokemobs. Come on. Well, yeah, download Pokemobs and whatever else you're using. Uh, the only other thing I can say is use either WinRAR or 7-Zip if you're on Windows. Don't use anything else because I've heard that other um, programs cannot work with uh, this. So I'll have a link to, uh, they, they give you like a free 30 days for WinRAR in the description and I'll also put a link for 7-Zip in the description so you can get one of those two and use that when you're doing the uh, when you're opening the uh, mods and stuff open them with WinRAR or 7-Zip and you should be good if you have any questions uh, leave a comment hopefully I was clear enough for all of you guys 
and hopefully this gets uh, Pokemobs working for you. So uh, I will catch you all later, and check out some other videos on my channel. Uh, thanks for watching, and talk to you later.